Ooh, we welcome back to another one, folks. Today we are doing some barbecue, but not just any barbecue. Well, it's it's a barbecue. Not just any barbecue. So we got beef ribs and a round steak. More about that in a second. All right, so as I prepare these things, basically all I am doing is I'm going to coat the ribs in mustard. The steak has pepper and Montreal steak spice. The ribs is just gonna have pepper, Montreal steak spice, but the binder is gonna be the mustard. That's it. That's all I'm putting on it. Now I'm still torn whether I'm gonna smoke them or I'm gonna actually do actually barbecue them. We'll see how long it takes, but those are some nice looking ribs. I've got the round already seasoned up. I've got the binder on the back side of the ribs, so I'm just about to put the seasoning on there. This meat came from J&E Meats. Now, full disclosure, I paid for this meat, but my daughter does work for J&E Meats. And I paid for the meat. I got this rack of beef ribs, eight round steaks, a ribeye, unless there's something else. Either way, 121 bucks. That's what it cost. Now they were at a market over at Sons of Kent and Chatham, and that's where I went to go get it. Otherwise, they're in Croton, which is out near Dresden. So if you're local, I'll, I'll explain all that a little later. But I got to get this meat seasoned up. All right, we got everything seasoned up. Does that not look delicious? Does that not look delicious? Come on. Seasoned up, seasoned up. I'm gonna go outside and start the barbecue. It might be a little testy because these are sitting on the counter resting. These two guys are guarding the meat. This may or may not be a good idea. Anyway, let's go start the barbecue. I always use the cowboy hardwood chunks. Didn't have any. So, I end up going with the Royal Oak Briquettes. I don't recommend briquettes at all. To get it going, I fill up my chimney and I take one of these. This is a fire starter. You get them at the dollar store here in Ontario. I'm sure uh, Dollar General's got them as well. It's a flammable material set a match to it it doesn't go poof it just kind of lights nicely as you saw and then it gets everything going some people just put newspaper in the bottom that may work too i just find this a lot easier two bucks and you probably get 12 or 16 of these and also i will be adding some pecan wood just to kind of add a little more to the flavor and why pecan you ask because i might have everything else but i did have this with some burgers last week and actually tasted really good try it with the ribs and the steak should be interesting. All right, while I'm waiting for the briquettes to get hot here, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Janey Meats. And this is not a sponsored video. They do not know I'm making this video. It's local, as in Croton, Ontario. Let's see where we're at here. So if you go to jnemeats.com, I'll leave a link in the description down below to their website as well as their Facebook. However, these people here, they produce, well, so I'll read it to you. We are completely birth to table, meaning all of our beef, lamb, chicken, and eggs that you purchase from us, we raise with our own hands. All of our beef and lamb are born right here on our farm, and we grow all of the food for them ourselves. Uh, you'll know exactly what you're putting into your body and feeding your family because it all, come from, it all came from our home, our soils, and our family. Like I said, I'll leave a link to their website down below. You can go check them out. They're not paying me to do this. This is not a sponsored video. I bought this meat myself, but I've had some already. So I started this bone side down. And anyway, I'm about to add the pecan chunks now to add a little bit of flavor early on. I want the smoke in the meat while it doesn't have the bark on it. And again, the easy thing about the char griller, this opens up. Put the wood in. 
Close it up. And there we are. Now, yes, I'm gonna leave the lid open for just a little bit. Once that wood starts to smoke, starts burning, I'm gonna close the lid. I'm gonna try and keep it around 275 to 300. I wanna cook them a little quicker, only because I wanna eat. Simple as that. So you can see there, the wood is starting to burn, it's starting to smoke. For me, that means it's time to close the lid. So we're gonna close it and let it go. All right, they've been on for about 45 minutes, almost an hour. Let's have a quick look and see where we're at. Not bad, not bad. All right, now here's the debate I always run into. Some people flip them, some people don't. I'm torn. I might not flip them, but I do have to put them in tinfoil. But I'll decide when the time comes whether I should flip them or I shouldn't. Leave me a comment down below. Do you flip your ribs? Do you not flip your ribs? So like I said, I wanted to keep it between 275 and 350. Let's have a quick look. About 305. That'll work. All right, so the ribs are now about an hour, hour and a half, hour 45 in. What are you two doing? Hey, what are you two doing? I got a little carried away with the wrestling. Anyway, we're about an hour and 45, we're about an hour and 45 minutes in on the ribs. I'm gonna cut up some potatoes. Nothing special with the potatoes, I just cut them in chunks. I'm trying to get in on the video. I'm trying to just cut them in chunks, wrap them in tinfoil with some butter, some garlic, and a little bit of seasoning. I'm trying to record a video here. Axel, hey, do you mind? Oh, I know you don't. He wants me to let his brother down there so that they can beat each other up. Well, how about it? Look out. All right, just real quick, Diesel's part lab, as I've told you before, if it comes to food, he'll, he'll skip everything for food. And he knows that barbecue's running out there. He didn't want to fight with Axel. He wanted to go to the barbecue. Back to potatoes. Cutting them in chunks about this size. Ramen tin foil, butter, garlic. I gotta come up with a better seasoning because I do put some Montreal steak spice in with the potatoes. It all, it, it, it does taste really good. However, when it comes to the meat, I gotta come up with a better seasoning. Now I've been using Stubbs beef rub. And I really do like that, but come on, there's gotta be more out there. The problem is some of it, if you, if you, if you spend 12, $15 a container of rub, it tastes horrible. You either eat it or you're out. So you guys leave me a comment down below over the nice beef rub, uh, a little bit spicy, a little bit hot, uh, maybe a little Southern Cajun. I just, I like spicy, I like hot. Um, and something that'll set my britches on fire. I gotta finish cutting up these potatoes here, get them out on the grill so that they can cook up. And I'm gonna put that round steak on. We're ready to eat soon. All right, here's where we're at. We've got our potatoes cut up, two good chunks of butter, some Montreal steak spice seasoning, and we also got some garlic, minced garlic. Now because it's gonna be a while before the ribs are done, I'm gonna double wrap this. I'm gonna set it on the off heat side of the barbecue. That way it'll still cook, just not quite as quick. All right, I gotta let y'all in on this. I flipped the ribs. Let's check them out. I know, I was torn whether I should flip them or not, but I was running a little hot and I was worried about them getting burned, so. I flipped them. As you can see, I got the round steak on there now. I got the potatoes on there now. Just a matter of trying to get everything to finish at roughly the same time so that we can eat everything at once. All right, guys, we are nearing the end. Got barbecue sauce all over my camera. What I'm doing here is I've, well, let me show you here. I got the ribs off over here. I got a coating of Jack Daniels number seven. I'm gonna wrap them in tinfoil and put them back on, probably for another 40 minutes, and we're gonna eat. Back in the house, the food is done. It's been just a little over three and a half hours. I know it's quick, I know. I'm hungry. The uh, round steak over there, oh, delicious, delicious. We got some hot dogs, but the star of the show is gonna be the ribs. I'm about to open them up and see how we did. All right, before I actually do that, I gotta tell you, I'm not a veteran when it comes to cooking ribs. I've only cooked 
uh, pork ribs a few times, beef ribs once, this is now twice. So I am not a professional when it comes to doing ribs. Maybe one day. Wow, is that tender. I got stuff on my lens here. Sorry about that, folks. All right, here we go. Oof. That is delicious. That's all I got. I'm gonna finish eating, and what I'd like you to do is hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Like button, share button. You know how it works. I wanna thank you all if you've been here for a while. I appreciate it. Until the next one, get outside and enjoy the outdoors. I'll see you. I'm about to add the pecan now. Pecan, pecan, pecan. Pecan. About to add the wood now. <laughs> oh, way too easy.